Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about Hike Vision VR and how you can stream directly to your website. Yes, that's true. As you can see here, I have the Hike Vision VR directly into my website. You're gonna learn how to do that. So watch this video to the end so you can see all the details, right? What I have here is the NVR interface. As you can see, I can use the mouse. When I right click here, you see that I'm, I'm using the direct interface to the NVR, okay? And to the right side, I have the image on my website. And I also have the interface to the NVR via web. So it's a web interface that shows all the camera, right? So the idea here is to combine every, every single camera here in a single stream. So you have like camera one, two, and three, and four in a single stream. Then you can center your website and you can control from your NVR. You're gonna see how it works. So let me just explain how you can do that. You need to go here to your configuration and then you need to come to all video and audio and enable channel zero. When you enable channel zero and you save it, you come back to the live stream you want to see an extra stream here. You see channel zero, let me just show how it works. So here I have the channel number one. Let's just enable channel number two. Then same thing here with channel number three and number four. Okay, four channels. Now look at that. When I enable here channel zero, I have the combination of the four cameras. So camera one, two, three, and four are all combined here in a single video stream. Those are not four cameras. I cannot just double click and enable them. When I double click here, for example, I have a single video stream with four cameras. The resolution is a little bit low because they're combining four images, but it works, it's enough for your website, okay? And then you can control uh, which camera you're gonna see online via the interface here on your NVR. So it's pretty simple. You're gonna see how it works. Let me just show you here the test for it. So I have to use a uh, uh, software like this one, VLC player, just to test their TSP protocol. I come here to open network stream. And here I can use this RTSP URL to test if it's working. Okay, so basically here I'm using the RTSP command, RTSP URL. Right, and username, passwords, just a password for testing, uh, IP address of the NVR ports in channel number one here, that represents my channel that has all the combination of the cameras. You see here, we we'll have camera one, two, three, and four in a single RTSP stream. So I'm going to use the RTSP stream, this RTSP stream on my website. Then I have to come to this side here rtsp.me and do the same thing here you see i'm just copy and paste previously so i can go faster with the video i paste the the same url here that was testing there exactly the same the only difference here is that the ip is different as you can see it's not the ip of the nvr because when you come here to my nvr you see that's internal ip 192.168.0245 but here it's different this is my external IP because this server is on the internet. It needs to check the external IP of my router. And I get this information when I come here to IP chicken, for example, ipchicken.com. It gives me router IP. That's the one that I have here. I just input it here and here an uh, email that I can use for testing. I can use any email here, data center location. I click broadcast and sign up. And when I click here, it's going to get a video stream from my camera combined on the, on the four channels, you see? So I have the four channels here combined. And then what I have to do is just copy this code, come here to my website, and then I drag and drop something like just HTML, paste here the code, save it, and I have everything working online on my website. Okay, it's working already. Okay, if, so if I come here to my website, this is just uh, the internal part of my website for coding. Let me just show the external part of the website here. And uh, here we go. I just hit play. 
and you see that's working. Okay, you can put on full screen. Let me just move my hand in front of my camera. You're gonna see that I'm moving the hand here and it takes a while to show up there because it's online. It takes about like eight seconds to show up online, okay? So you see the difference here on my NVR compared to the website that's online and take some time. So when I come here to my, you see my hand is moving just right now. It takes a while. So when I come here to my NVR, I double click on this image. And now I'm basically controlling the video stream that's coming to my website. It takes some time and again, because there's a latency here, but you'll see in a while that I, I see the image that I see here. I want to see there live on my website. Then I can do the same for the second image, for the third one, and so on. You see, it's working that way. And then let's just double click again and double click here on the second one. You're going to see one while that is going to show the four image again because first I just change it to the four images and then it's going to show this single image. It takes some time, but as long as you have like people watching from the internet, they are not going to notice the difference because for them, it's like real time. And then what you have to do here, if you want to play one by one, you just come here and start auto switch. Uh, first, you need to come to the configuration and enable this auto switch. Uh, you need to come to live viewer. You check the dwell time. The minimum that I have here is five seconds, right? Or 10 seconds. Let, let's check with 10 seconds because it'll be better because of the latest that we have on the website. Let's come back, exit here, double click on the first one, and then start the auto switch. So basically here we'll go start like uh, changing from image to image, first image, then the second one, third one, and so on. And you're going to see here on the website, it's a little bit of delay. So I see the for image, then I see the first one. When change here, I'm gonna see the second one in a while and keeps doing like that, right? Every 10 seconds going to change here and then going to reflect uh, reflect there on my website. So it's a nice way to control what you have here directly on your NVR uh, displaying there in your website, okay? So just double click here again. No, I need to click here to minimize and here we go. It's working on my website, right? Of course, when you come later to this website, learnctv.com slash online, you're not going to see that anymore because it's just a test that I'm doing right now. Over time, you're going to change this. I'm going to remove this, okay, because I'm just testing right now. But you see that works. It's pretty simple and it's also free. When you come here to this website, to this RTME, rtsp.me, it's a free service. You don't pay for that. Okay. So don't worry. You just need to use the way I'm using here uh, with the, the protocol, RTSP protocol. If you don't understand how it works, I have another video here on the channel about the RTSP that I go deeper on all the information. So we just need to use it. Uh, all the research that I have here, the videos and check and learn more about it. Okay. And it's pretty nice. As you can see here, the image is pretty fast as well. You see, is I, I don't have a stuttering image here. I have an image like flowing pretty good. Okay. And it's just this problem with the lagging because when I move my hand here, it takes some time to reflect there, but it works, right? So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.